Hi, I'm Alan Stokel, and in this episode, how to plan for a 12 volt boat makeover. I've got wires hanging everywhere. Uh, mostly they're for accessories, um, tablets, GPS's, cell phones, fans, it just goes on and on. Um, I need to get more USB ports and fewer wires hanging everywhere. So the first thing I did was decide uh, where I was going to put all these ports, somewhere uh, that are it's close, obviously, but out of the way. And then I needed to start getting the tools and equipment together that I needed. I bought three of these uh, uh, USB, well, they're standard light socket, and the other side has two USB ports. One is one amp, and the other is two amps. You can put a USB adapter in the uh, lighter socket side to get two more. Um, I also bought one similar to this that also has a voltage meter. So I can just keep an eye on my battery. Um, I bought the right gauge wire to get the job done and it, it is for marine use. And I also got the fittings required to connect to the uh, battery bus. So here are a few things that you will need to complete this job. You'll need a wire stripper, a soldering gun, solder and flux, correct size fittings for the bus, and because I wanted mine mounted on an external fiberglass piece, I decided to mount some of them um, on uh, these boxes that I bought from the dollar store, which I'm just going to face with, uh, with teak uh, to finish them off. Should look very nice. We'll talk more about this in the next episode. Now this boat is over 40 years old, so Everyone's had a whack at the wiring, and I don't necessarily trust it. it. No reason so far, but I don't want to add more volts, uh, more amps onto existing circuitry. So I decided to, uh, to create two new uh, circuits. Um, now, because of that, I'll also need some fuses and some fuse fittings. Now we should start getting these items together. For instance, I, uh, I bought these uh, sockets from Ali uh, Express and uh, they took, what, about four or five weeks to get here. Um, you may want to purchase them elsewhere. If uh, your channelry has them, that's great. If not, uh, try Amazon. I wasn't really impressed with AliExpress, but I must say that the, uh, they are very well made. Now I've got them. So, um, now, you're going to need to find the bus bar on your boat, and if you already have 12 volt wiring. To do that, uh, you're going to have to find, search from the battery to find out exactly where the, uh, the bus is. Um, for me, I needed my smartphone and my selfie stick. Um, because ours was underneath the uh, cockpit stairs. I'm just going to show you this now. Now you may have noticed that uh, I marked both the uh, positive and negative uh, buses. Um, now, if you're unfamiliar with, um, with batteries on a boat or the circuitry leading, then perhaps you can just watch one of my other videos about adding a, a battery to a boat. Uh, the link is actually up on the screen right now. 
So if you uh, plan on doing this uh, alongside me, um, decide where you're going to put the boxes. Uh, it, they should be somewhere handy, but obviously out of the way. Um, and uh, get the tools and equipment together, uh, because in the next couple of weeks, we're going to do the next step. In our next episode, we'll wire the sockets safely, uh, connect our new circuits to the battery bus, and install them on our old fiberglass boat. My name is Alan Stokel. Please join me then, and thank you for watching.